The fourth principle about empowering learners is one that I can call manipulation. Uh, and I mean by that a very special thing. One of the things we realize is incredibly powerful about games is they allow you as a player to manipulate the game world in a very uh, fine way. And in in you can manipulate your character, you can manipulate the world uh, with a lot of control. And it turns out uh, that what we know from neuroscience is that when humans feel they can manipulate something in a very fine way, in a close grain way, they almost feel as if their body has gone into that space. This is why, for example, when children play Mario and they jump uh, Mario, they jump out of their seat sometime. There is a feeling that we have married our body to the game space because we have control over it and that we are uh, therefore able to learn in a very embodied way. Uh, this principle uh, can, can be extended a step by saying that in fact the game offers you tools to truly involve your body and mind in learning in a very deep way and that what humans need is good tools. In, in a broad way, games give a variety of very powerful tools that engage the body and mind with learning so you don't feel you're doing it all by yourself or you're doing it unaided.